Um, I'm here to reintroduce you to ArcGIS. ArcGIS at 10 is now an online system that spans maps, applications, people, and like Scott said, most importantly, geographic information. Um, ArcGIS can include information that's running in the cloud, hosted uh, by ESRI, or it can be on your own enterprise uh, server. ArcGIS at its core is focused on mapping, analysis, collaboration, creating, and then really using content. So I'm excited to introduce you to this new website, ArcGIS.com. Uh, ArcGIS.com is that web view into that ArcGIS system that Scott had in his diagram. You can use ArcGIS.com to find maps, applications, people. Um, within the site, within ArcGIS, there's thousands of maps and applications. If we drill in to some of the featured maps that we have, uh, these are featured maps that we've picked out and uh, uh, to give you a view of some of the more exciting things. <coughs> So these maps can be openable in the browser like I'm doing right here. In this case, I'm going to New York City. <clears throat> An important thing about this is that these maps are supported by the geographic information that you guys build. They're, they have beautiful cartography. These maps are also multi-scale. So I can drill in to um, the street level. I can zoom out to the regional level or out to the global level. These maps are also um, a platform for you to showcase uh, your operational data or services. So if I look at this Tennessee River Gorge map and open it up, I'll see the Tennessee River uh, habitat areas on top of this community topo map. So it's very powerful. The maps also describe themselves. If I look at the uh, recent earthquakes in Chile's and not, not actually open the map, but view some of the information about it, <clears throat> I'll see a summary. I'll see a description about what this map is actually about. Uh, I'll see comments and ratings on this map. But most importantly, I get the services that power this online map. And that's really it, online. All of these maps are hosted online. Uh, and accessible from many different clients. Uh, I've just shown you some of the web clients, and throughout the plenary this morning, you'll see some of our other clients accessing these same maps. So how do you make your own map? You don't just want to view maps that other people have made. One way is you can just start a map from scratch. You can pick from uh, any of the ESRI uh, base maps, like the street maps, imagery, topo, or Bing maps. Or you can pick an existing map. Like if I look at this Washington DC map, it's a map of the Washington DC area. Uh, I can zoom to a particular location, but really what I want to do is add my own operational content on top of this map. So I can search through ArcGIS Online itself to find services to add on top. Um, I can search the open web um, finding any services that are public and available that search engines like Google have indexed. Or I can also add my own ArcGIS server into this and search through it. Right now I'm just going to search ArcGIS online and search for trees. I find one, one service, the Washington DC Tree Inventory Service, and I'll go ahead and add it to the map. This service is actually hosted by the city of Washington DC. It's on their GIS server. I just reached out to it, grabbed it, and put it on top of my, my map here. But now I've built this map. I want to actually, um, and we can see, actually, let me talk just a second about the, the content there. I see uh, uh, this tree inventory, all the ones that are uh, conflicted trees, uh, the open trees, the ones that are proposed and whatnot. But now that I have this map created, I want to save it. I want to, I want to save it online within my own workspace. So I'll go ahead and do that. And 
add some tags so it can easily be found later. I could put in a summary of the map. Um, not maps in the foggy bottom, trees. And I'll save that map online. So I'm actually saving that map within my own workspace. I'm going to go back to the site and search for the map that I just saved. So I'll search for foggy here. <clears throat> and I see the map that I just created. I could open the map again or I could look at the details. And from the details, I can choose how I want to share that map. I can, of course, add more descriptive information to it. I could change the thumbnail. I could. Uh, I could modify some of the tags, whatever I want, but the most important thing I want to do is share it. Like Scott said, I can share it with anybody, or I can share it securely within members of a group. A group is a, uh, uh, is a way for you to collaborate with others in your domain. I'm going to go ahead and share it with everyone. Actually, I just want to pause a second um, and have everybody think about how really powerful that is. I found a map online. I added some more content to it. I saved it within my own workspace. And then I can share it out securely. Just take a step back a, a couple years and to think about how you got maps out on the web. You might remember MoIMS or, or ArcIMS with ArcIMS Author or even ArcGIS Server Manager. It required you to have a lot of knowledge about the system. And you also had to have uh, privileges to be able to do that. We've really come light years in terms of creating maps and putting them on the web. But as Scott said, it's not just about uh, maps, but there's also applications. And applications are, are really what you guys do the most. You build these focused, ready-to-use applications um, <clears throat> that are built on top of the services that power some of those maps that we saw and that leverage all of the uh, APIs that ESRI offers, from the web APIs with JavaScript Flux or Silverlight to, uh, to desktop and so on, Arc Objects. So here I see a bunch of, of featured applications. Now the applications aren't running here, but it's a place for you to advertise your site within the community. Like let's take a, a look at the crime mapping application. If I look at the details about this application, I'll see that uh, the Omega Group has built this application, um, and it's a service that they offer uh, for cities throughout the US. And they can advertise it here. Uh, they can provide the link to it to be able to open directly from their site. They can also, if they choose to, share the code that powers that application. It's not a requirement, but it's an option for you. So it's not just about a bunch of featured maps. You also want to be able to uh, find other maps in the system. So let's do a quick example here and search for everything related to health. Right now, I see uh, everything related to help. I see I can filter it by things that are just maps. And here's a map of the San Francisco healthcare facilities. I can open that map. So I have the street map from ArcGIS Online, and on top of it, I have the healthcare facilities from the California Resources Agency. That's, uh, that's professional content on top of this map. If I were to look at the details of this map, I could see the services that make up this map and use that to build an application. Let's see if anybody's done that. So I'm going to filter that search result for health to just see the applications that have been built. And here, here's an application. So in this application, I can find the closest healthcare facilities. I see those same, uh, that same map that we saw online, but now it's used within an application. I can go ahead and turn off um, some of the facilities, and I want to use some advanced analysis to route myself to the nearest uh, hospital or clinic. 
I hover over that and get directions. <coughs> that application is actually a very good example of uh, building a mashup type application that consumes services from um, multiple locations. So it has the street map from ArcGIS Online, the healthcare facilities from the California Resources Agency, and it has advanced geospatial uh, network analysis from services that are hosted on ArcGIS Online. So it's a very, very powerful system. So everything I've shown here is that web view into the system. And uh, now I'd like to turn it over to Andy to talk about uh, another view into this system. <laughs> 